What a wolf pack. It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into a fan made, I guess, compilation video that is called BTS is Overrated. Um, then what's this? Which is already a very sassy title. So I'm I'm expecting to enjoy this video a lot. Y'all know how I am. I I'm here for it. All of the pettiness. And so I'm guessing this compilation is going to have different clips of BTS proving that they're awesome to their haters. Kind of like the moment when Suga stopped rapping to show everybody that they weren't actually lip singing, which is like iconic and is in every single compilation video ever at this point. But I'm guessing that there's more instances of that and that's what this video is going to be so hopefully you're interested in that if you're new here i'm amari i release videos three times a week i will not be releasing three videos this week simply because i am actually out of town this video was pre-recorded for you guys but normally i release a patreon video on monday and a youtube video on wednesday and saturday so definitely make sure to subscribe for more content like this and in the meantime i'll be seeing you guys on the other side Whenever someone asks me what music I like or what artists I listen to, I being the army that I am, of course say BTS. But every time I do, the response is almost always they're overrated. <laughs> but today I'm gonna show you how that is definite. Real quick, I've noticed that the people who say any group or artist that is like super famous is overrated usually are hipsters who've never even listened to the person or group in this case and just say that they're overrated just because they're popular and anything that's popular must be trash or they are people who've listened to like one or two singles from the person just passively on the radio and be like I don't like that particular song therefore this person must be trash which is not how music works at all. Any artist can make a song that any person may not vibe with, even their biggest fan. And so writing someone off after one or two songs, I think is a very unwise choice. Now, if they make a style of music that you just, for whatever reason, know you can never get into, then okay. But for the most part, I think people judge artists way too quickly. It's the equivalent of watching 15 minutes of a TV show and then being like, that TV show is trash. Well, you didn't even really give it an opportunity to show you why it is so beloved by so many people. But anyway, I digress. Definitely not the case. For this, we're gonna go through each member, starting off with the beautiful leader himself, RM. Before becoming part of BTS, RM was already an underground rapper. He started rapping at 12 years old and when he was 14. He released an actual mixtape under his then stage name Runge Ronda. This means that RM, the Kim Nam Joon, has been rapping since 2007. He's been rapping for 11 years and he's only 23 years old. He has numerous pre-debut songs that he wrote himself and he could freestyle like no one's business before he even hit puberty. When attending an audition, his rap skills impressed people so much that it caught the attention of Bang Se Hyuk aka the CEO of the then small company Big Hit and he was signed as the first official member of BTS in 2010. Adding on, this man taught himself English like what the- Rip the old logo. I've been on record a couple times, especially on my Discord server. If you're a patron, you have access to my Discord server. If not, become a patron, get access to my Discord server. I'm there every day. I've been on record stating that my edgy self actually prefers the old logo. I know I'm in the minority on that. Most people like the doors. I think they're doors, but I just love, I love this logo so much. Like it's just, oh, that was before my time as an army, but it's so, it's so good. And I know people hate it and I don't care. I love it. BTS in 2010, adding on, this man taught himself English like what the heck. He watched the show Friends and learned from the subtitles how the English language was structured. FYI, the Korean language structure is basically the opposite of English, so the fact that he learned English by just watching a TV show amazes me. Then again, he has an IQ of 148, so he can do anything lol. Also, he helps produce literally every song BTS has just look up a random BTS song and his name is there. Like he has produced over 90 songs in total and I can't even make a proper bowl of cereal. 
and now to the... When they say produce, I'm assuming they mean songwriting, because I know that RM is a super prolific songwriter. I know that he also has the ability to produce like a music producer as well. I just know that he is more so accredited for his songwriting, but I want to know if those are 90 musical compositions that he produced or if that is if they're just using the wrong word i mean i guess saying produce is not the wrong word it's just going to be confusing to people but yeah i really want to know what that particular flex was for if that's for his prolific pen or if that is for his ability to create the actual you know the melodies the rhythm like the actual music part of the song regardless i know he does both the next member sugar like rm Sugar was an underground rapper as well. He was in a rapper group called D-Town and his stage name was Gloss. Now when I say this man works hard, he works hecking hard. He grew up with a passion for music and started writing lyrics when he was only 11 years old. But he grew up dirt poor and his family didn't support his love of music and even threw away his lyrics. At 13, he started producing with the little equipment he had and tried selling his music on the streets but would get scammed. And because he was so poor, he'd have to choose between a bus ticket home or dinner, so he often skipped meals. One day he saw a poster to audition for Big Hit, auditioned, and made it as a trainee, but he still struggled. A story I'll never forget was when he was hit by a car, got his shoulder permanently damaged, didn't tell anyone for a fear of being kicked. What the hell? Why have I never heard this story? Is this the same time that he was missing from the group for a while and he couldn't perform with them? Or is this a whole separate time that he got injured and just no one told me he got hit by a car? Out of big hit and basically suffered through training with a broken shoulder. It's still damaged to this day and he can't do certain dance moves. He's such a hard worker and has helped produce numerous BTS songs as well but struggles with severe depression and anxiety. He talks about his disorders in his lyrics and tries to inspire others to keep fighting on. To be honest, I cried while editing this. But onto his rapping. It's no joke. He's one of the fastest idle rappers in the world and can rap 8.8 .8 syllables per second. Future Jam Jam J here. <laughs> he can actually rap 11.4 syllables per second lol. <coughs> Shook on to the third member, J-Hope. Unlike RM and Shuka, J-Hope was an underground dancer. He grew up dancing before he could even breathe. He has participated in and won numerous dance competitions and performed with the underground dance crew Neuron. So yeah, dancing is in his blood. In my blood. <laughs> Not many know, but he also grew up with a love for singing as well. Before auditioning for Big Hit, he auditioned for JYP Entertainment but was rejected. I guess you could say he got gypped. <laughs> While still in school for dance, he was asked to record a video of himself dancing for an audition. After the audition though, to record a video of himself dancing for an audition. After the audition though, he was caught still practicing three hours after the audition ended. Big Hit saw how dedicated he was and signed him on to become the third member of BTS. But there was a catch. J-Hope was originally supposed to be the main dancer and a vocalist but the company wanted him to be the main dancer and a rapper. Slight problem though, he couldn't hooking rap. Being the dedicated person he was, he taught himself how to rap. He practiced with the guidance of RM and Shuka but practiced by himself for hours. So this explains a lot. I didn't know, I knew that he was a dancer for years, an amazing underground dancer, and that he could rap, or I knew that he couldn't rap before he joined the group. I didn't know that he signed on to be a vocalist, though that's very interesting. And also kind of explains why out of the three of them, he's the one that I've heard doing the most melodic rapping. Also, um, in the songs that I've heard from them, he does a lot of harmonizations and melodic ad-libs and things. It just, it, it all makes sense. And ours, and ours. Let me tell you, the boy can definitely rap now like holy heck. He also helps choreograph group dances for BTS and helps the other members practice. So to sum up this boy, he can dance, sing, and rap. 
the whole package. On to the next member, Jungkook. Before becoming the first vocalist in the lineup for BTS, this kid was still a fetus. <laughs> childhood for like two seconds before making career moves in music. He auditioned in Superstar K, which is a talent competition for aspiring vocalists when he was 12 years old and immediately stood out. He was really shy and had the voice of a little angel. Literally. <laughs> But his audition was never aired and he was rejected. But immediately after, he received calls from eight different entertainment companies wanting him and one of those companies was Big Hit. After hearing our... I knew that he was uh, a highly recruited prospect. It's a sports for everybody wanted him. They wanted the sauce. I didn't know that um, JYP and SM were a part of those companies. That's... Huge, like that's it's a very big deal, and he gave them the finger to go be with RM. Yes, yes, best decision of his whole life. But um, that's really great, cause like obviously it's still nice to be chosen. It's much better to be chosen by people who are considered better than you, and um, we love it. RM rap. He decided to join Big Hit and became a trainee at 14 years old. Banksy Hyuk said Jungkook had no emotion when he danced so he sent him to America to train and dance. He practiced hard for a solid year and finally returned to Korea with some new moves going from this. To this. What a hard working as someone who like Hobie has been dancing since like I could literally walk part of JK's issue was confidence he could always dance he just had to have that brought out of him over the course of his career his existence as a member of BTS he's gotten even better based off me seeing their debut obviously till now he's improved not just from a technique standpoint but the biggest change between the two videos that they saw was, well, at, as Bang PD put it, he doesn't look dead inside. That is just a lack of passion, which comes from a lack of confidence. All great dancers in the moment are channeling an irrational level of confidence because you have to overcome the fear that you're going to look dumb, you're going to look stupid, that you might mess up the choreography if you're doing choreography, you're not freestyling. And so uh, it's kind of like how Beyonce talks about channeling Sasha Fierce as she performs, even though she is naturally more of a timid and shy person. And as someone who has met her, slight flips, she's not like when you think like, oh my God, Beyonce, the freaking goddess, she's going to float in the room. She's very quiet. She's very chill. She's humble, nice, sweet Southern girl. Like she is not... The Beyonce you see on stage or in videos, but she channels that diva persona to be that on stage. And so I think the biggest lesson that he probably learned in that year when he was in the U.S., because, you know, nobody is more confident than Americans, is how to channel that. It's not that you have to change who you are as a person, but you do in that moment have to be fierce. Now he's an amazing dancer, but even then, I'm sure that if he was more comfortable in himself, like as as a trainee, he would have been a better dancer even before they taught him dancing technique. Boy, he practices singing basically all the time and does numerous covers. He even recently started producing music for BTS and helped produce Magic Shop. But Jungkook was thrown into fame early on in his life and usually fame can mess with a kid's head. But Jungkook has remained a happy, grateful, and humble person. On to the next member, Jin. Jin's story is different from the rest of the members because he started off with zero experience. He grew up not wanting to sing or dance but to be an actor. He was literally out existing in public when a big hit employee saw his golden visuals and automatically signed him. He was originally just an actor for Big Hit, but then... <laughs> I 
I'm sure you guys don't think that stick figure is funny, but my humor is broken, so like. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of that person seeing this and seeing themselves as this like lopsided face stick figure is just so funny to my brain and visuals and automatically signed him he was originally just an actor for big hit but then banksy hayat was like nah i'm gonna put you in bts <laughs> small problem he couldn't <laughs> sing or dance at all jin trained endlessly before debut working on his singing and dancing skills he still occasionally gets backlash for starting out with zero experience, but he has improved and infinitely gets backlash for starting out with zero <coughs> experience, but he has improved an infinite amount. He is so dedicated to his vocal training that his trainer even said that rather than improving his voice, he completely transformed it and was her best student. Like this man went from zero to 100 because of all the hard work he has put into his training. He'd stay up past 3 a.m. some nights just to practice and even made his own backing track for a song and added his vocals to make sure he sounded perfect. Like someone stop this man before he produces a whole album. But let me tell you, he now has a golden voice and is able to hit notes higher than IDK the sky. <laughs> For those who don't know, I reacted to that on Patreon. That was a Patreon picks by one of my patrons. And uh, I have like a whole breakdown reaction to that video. Plus his dancing has improved a ton. Have you seen how challenging BTS choreography is like? What the heck? I can't even walk in a straight line. <laughs> Next member, V. <laughs> like Sugar, V grew up very poor. Going from rags to being the number one most handsome man oh, in the world. Oh my god, this haircut, hold on. Going from rags. <laughs> he looks like a little q tip. His baby photo is so cute though, oh my god. Okay, anyway. To being the number one most handsome man in the world. He literally grew up in a village, and if he didn't debut, he said he would be a farmer right now. But early on in his childhood, he developed a love for music, singing, and dance which led him to eventually audition on accident lol for big hit he was the only one in his hometown to make it past the audition and he eventually became a trainee he trained hard for three years going from well-rounded but mediocre into basically a superstar in everything he does he can sing notes slower than my grades <laughs> Plus, he has a powerful stage presence that literally makes you want to get up and go on stage with him, but oh wait, you can't because sadly this is just a YouTube video. <laughs> now for the last member, Jimin. Jimin had a normal childhood and grew up very happy. He didn't really know what he wanted to do in life until he started dance in middle school. He developed a passion for it and wanted to go to school for dance, but he didn't know how to pay for it. This boy was literally so dedicated and skilled in dance that his instructor didn't make him pay for school. Do you know how good you have to be to have your instructor personally take care of your education fees like oh my gosh. His instructor even told him to audition for Big Hit and you guessed it. He made it as a trainee. He only trained for a year which is a very short training period for a K-pop idol once again showing you how dedicated and skilled he is and even stayed up until 3 a.m. to pre Man said he would sleep a couple hours. Jesus Christ. Practice while still going to school for dance. He eventually became the seventh and final member of BTS. But, for their first music video, Jimin became known for his appearance aka his abs, and he felt pressured to stay in shape. This made him depressed and he started hating his looks. He's still very self-critical and gets down from time to time, but he is doing so much better and he is a very hard worker and is 100%. And 100% one of the most beautiful people to ever have walked the face of the earth. But, obviously, no pressure. Abs or not, the face. The face, though. Like, he not training the face. That's God. Sent dedicated to what he does. Working hard 24-7. Like his vocals send me to the grave. 
He can't hit notes so high that I literally get chills. He works on his singing endlessly to make sure. It's so weird to my brain to see them stand still and sing. I know that they do it, but I see them in motion 24 7. Even when they're not singing, they're like goofing around and being freaking crackheads and going crazy. So seeing them like stand there and just belt is so. Like, it's so crazy to my brain. Or it sounds perfect when he performs. He hates messing up because he feels like he's cheated us when he doesn't. He cares so much about giving us his best and oh my gosh, I have so many feels for this boy. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that BTS work their hecking butts off to be where they are and their hard work is very admirable. If you watch this whole video, thank you because I know it was long as heck. And don't forget. You're nice and keep going. <laughs> Okay, that was not what I expected it to be. That was more so talking about like their training, their hard work, their dedication, and kind of the journey of becoming the absolute musical monsters that they are versus like showing, well, I guess they did for the vocal line, especially show instances of them being monstrous. But yeah, very interesting. I like that video a lot. I enjoyed it. I like seeing the zero to hero stories. I like seeing the before, already knowing the after of how great they are. And so, yeah, very interesting. I saw some extra stuff in there that I didn't know about, like Sugar getting hit by a car thing. Like that was, that was crazy. I didn't know that Hobie was supposed to be a vocalist originally. Super interesting stuff, really, all around. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will be seeing all of you guys next time. Have a great day.